hi guys and welcome to visual c plus plus of array in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to declare a string character array and use it to record all of these first of all let's click on reset as you all know array always start from zero i'm going to enter zero in there and the first character that is zero is biology then we have english math um games math physics and let's enter invalid character there there we go that's not acceptable let's try this out not acceptable so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into visual C++ and show you guys how to put one of these together so let's do that now guys hi guys and welcome to visual C++ tutorial in this tutorial I'm just going to show you guys how to develop an array now let's click on create new and we then select CLR empty project make sure that is selected C++ click on next let's give that a name I'm going to call it CPP array there we go and click on create and there we go guys this is the development environment this is how your screen is going to look like so all you need to do is to click on solution explorer here and if you don't have your solution explorer all you just need to do is to go to windows and select reset window layout click on yes okay and that should appear now all we want to then do is you see the range here that's the property click on it once you click on it this dialog box pops up this dialog box is where you will configure all the input you need for your form so let's click on linker here and you then select system inside the system you see where we have subsystem to the right okay you click on that and select windows subsystem windows just for your information make sure your platform is if your platform is 32 bits select 32 bit but if it's 64 bit make sure it's 64 bit once you've selected subsystem windows here the next thing you need to do is come back straight to this little dialog there select the advanced inside the advanced you see where you have the entry point your entry point has to be main enter main in there and click on apply and click on ok now you see the name of your project right click on it and then select add then select new item inside the new item these dialogs that pops up you want to select CLR or if you are using UI you can select UI because that has window form as well but since we started with CLR I'm going to select CLR and that gives you a default form name myform.h I'm going to leave that name as myform.h and then click on add this will come up with an error telling you there's no form myform.h because you will have to close the system and reopen it to sort of like refresh the whole system okay just like I said earlier you will end up with an error but that's no problem so let's come in here you see where you have the form let's close that one where you have the myform.cpp double click on myform.cpp and this coding area opens up you then need some lines of code I'm going to get those lines of code from the forum I will actually include the URL for this forum for you guys so if you scroll right down here are the instructions for the for how to generator form and here this is the lines of code that I was talking about so highlight and copy that very lines of code come right down here paste the lines of code in there you will end up with an error with the name so I'm going to change the name to CPP array and that's it the error should disappear now just like I said you can save your product and then click on run the form should appear but at the end of the day you're going to have to close the whole system and reopen it for the form to be displayed right there so we should be able to see the form right now there we go that's your form right there okay close that 
but the problem is the form is not available on the solution explorer so what I would recommend is or that's the normal practice you close the whole application to sort of like refresh it and you reopen it again so I've just close it there now I'm going to right click and just select my application again that is it right there is coming up now there we go it's coming up and right there and that is my form now if I double click on it I should be able to see a form there we go now let's collapse this one and I want to define the size of my application something like that go straight to the toolbox inside the toolbox I'm going to select the panel and just drag that panel that much there we go and comes to the properties of that very panel change the border style to, to fix 3d and also change the back color of that panel to okay that blue you do not have to do that but I just want to do it for my own system so I'm going to now add another panel there the second panel that I've added I'm going to change the background color back to the default color known as control and I'm going to also change the back the border style to fix 3d I can now copy that there we go and right here just drag this that much and maybe drag this as well there something like that I'm now going to add buttons come right here add a button here and I will also add a list box once you've added your list box we need the following let's come in here we need a label here a text box here for our input and one button okay there we go now I want to increase the font of every component that I have in here apart from that of the list box come in here and just change that to something much more readable make that bold and I'm going to make it about let's set it for about 30 and we'll take it from there okay that's fine now this very one I'm going to change the font size to something a little bit maybe about 26 bold that's fine there and let's change the details of all these buttons so this very one here is going to be known as I'm going to call it reset so let's come back in here pin the property down and here I am going to look for the name there we go let's call it btn reset and the text I need to be reset as well come right down here look at this there's a text there this list box is going to be known as L S T array this button here is going to be known as BTN array and the text content let's just call it arrays and this text box is going to be known as txt array up here we just need to enter something that describe what's happening so in there we have let's extend that so I'm going to change that to enter the array index auto size I'm going to make that force so that I can just drag it out much okay that's fine all right that's looking good I can increase the size of these how I want also make it more pronounced and this is where you enter your array index now move this up a little bit there we go now let's double click on the 
button itself and first of all what we need to do is to declare our array but in the first place what is an array array are used to store multiple value in a single variable instead of you declaring separate variables so you declaring an array makes life much more easier so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how we declare an array so right inside my button there I will create array string and we enter an exponential close that end it with an exponential then I will then declare the name of my array that we handle every single value so I call that unit now the next thing that I'm going to do is you see there's this very unit that I've just declared I'm going to paste this right underneath here and I will then assign garbage collector to it garbage collector new and what I want you to collect is whatever I have in here so I'm going to copy all of this paste that right in here so I'll enter my data in there and that's the first one I'm just going to call that let's say biology that is my very first one the second one is going to be let's say English enter semicolon and the next one I'm going to call that games then followed by let's go for math and physics there we go so I have five well five items in there okay that would do you can add more than five if you want the choice is yours okay now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the try cache but before that let me declare another integer here I'm going to call it Q and Q is going to take in whatever value I have inside the text box but the problem is we have to get that converted so convert column column to int 32 whatever I have inside txt array dot text make sure that is converted to an integer else is going to, you're going to end up with an error so that is taken care of as well now to prevent any error from happening when I enter all of this my array I'm just going to come in here and use try cache and let's enter my cache statement in here and that is going to be cache and we just say exception enter ex in there and curly braces and in here I'm just going to enter a message box so the system will officially generate whatever message for me telling me end user whatever they've enter is invalid or not there we go now right in here we take care of our array so the list box we're going to say list array I want that to take in let's say dot item dot items dot add and what am I adding I'm actually adding units and that is going to be Q5 whatever we have inside Q5 there so what I've just done in here is when you start session the number that you enter because I really always start from 0 1 2 3 4 okay so whatever value you enter inside the text box will be assigned to the list box however if you go beyond or enter an invalid character this will take precedent and just 
an error message will appear. All right, so we can always add, let's clear this as well, just in case if you enter an invalid data in there, let's get that cleared. And we also, let's assign, let's say, set focus in there. There we go. And I'm also going to clear it here underneath here, just in case if you don't have any error. So now you can enter more data. So let's run that and see how that's going to work. Let's see, it's coming up. There we go, guys. I enter the first value as zero. There, biology. And let's check how I really look at it. The first value is biology. And the second one, as you can see, will be English. So let's enter one in there and click on that so the next one there four and let's try out five no there's nothing like five let's enter invalid character there we end up with an error okay we end up with an error so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the this error let's just cancel it out and I'm going to move this my variable variable declaration int just drag it inside the try cache okay because it's outside the try cache so it's not recognized so if I run it now and enter whatever in there that should correct that error and um, I'm just thinking maybe I should move the array dec declaration in there as well but let's try it out and see enter whatever in there you see that input string was not in the correct format there so we enter 4 we enter whatever not in the correct format enter 0 1 2 3 4 there we go 0 double 0 Zero zero zero. Zero 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 is class as zero 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 as well in array. So that is how you create your own array, guys. In Visual C. So the only thing now I'd like you guys to do for me now is just right here the text box, select that text box, and just get it centered. That's all. Select the text box and come right here. There it is centered. There we go. And one final thing you see this reset, double click on reset. Uh, we can just copy this here, copy all of these to get it reset. And I'm also going to reset the list box. That will be that items dot clear and that takes care of that now have a good look at the lines of code before I run it one more time and then we can call it the end of this project so this is the most important bit how to declare the array it's more or less like a constructor okay within the button itself right so if you can put it inside the constructor that's fine now the up to here that is where the array is up to here and these are just ordinary error handlers okay so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel and you can always join to become a member of the channel there are a lot of benefit for those who are members so I'm going to say you all have a nice day now and bye for now. Bye.